think I think the first thing to say is that name Burkini, because it, it begins with B-U-R-K, people think of burka. What you've seen there is just modest swimwear, right? Or yeah. something that's easy to wear on a beach. It's but... inoffensive, it's comfortable, and it allows you to swim, but being covered at the same time. James, what do you think about what Lauren said? Well... And is it ever right <clears throat> that a man can tell a woman what she can and can't wear ever? Never. Absolutely never. We agree on that. Um, uh, if we talk about whether religious dress is diversive and splits communities, that's a different thing. Um, but the French police were completely wrong, and I imagine that the uh, French politicians are now very concerned about that behaviour because, you know, I could be lying on the beach completely covered. Is somebody going to tell me to take my clothes off? They got that completely and utterly wrong. Mm. Now, if you were to ask me, do I think anybody should be allowed to cover their face completely in this country, I'd say, no, I don't see why anybody needs to cover their face completely. It isn't acceptable in this country. If you go to a Muslim country, you would actually uh, cover your head as a woman, you would uh, obey the rules we're there. The no, we're today. not, we're not. We're talking about whether or not it's right to ever tell people what to wear. And it's never right to tell people how to live their lives, but I think there has to be some give and take, doesn't there? But just because if you were to Lost go my to... Voice, I'm it's sorry. OK, we can yeah. still hear you nice and clearly. Um, if you were to go to certain Middle Eastern countries like Saudi Arabia and women are told to... Does it mean that it's right to do it in Britain or, or in Europe, does it? No, it doesn't. And I don't think uh, picking on somebody wearing something like uh, a model was wearing is right. And I don't think in a public place to go up and say, Lauren, who I have knew very well 20 years ago, and suddenly well, I didn't even know you'd become a Muslim, to be honest. So are you offended by what Lauren is wearing? I mean, what do you... Cerise. No, I, I, I'm not, off, a, I'm not offended by it. It's I'm... a personal ethical choice. And sometimes it's a choice of comfort as well, because like Nigella Lawson, you know, about five or six years ago, she said she'd rather wear that now than have all the attention from uh, the press or from people on a beach. And the thing about what's going on in France is that it's taking away this action of personal choice. And I think it must have been horrible for that woman and her family members to sit there and have... I don't think we need to make too much about the, the, the guns because the police there are armed. But if you're on a beach on holiday and you're surrounded by men in guns for what you're wearing, that is a very perverse mindset. I think mm. what's more worrying, actually, is that people cheered. Now, I don't think that that will come over the channel. I don't believe we're in that state in Britain. I don't think that, that, that we're, we're that panicked by other people's choices. But is this a progression towards that? That is a concern. And if we don't care about these people, what are we going to do with them? I'd also like to know, I mean, it, in France it says religious clothing, doesn't it? And I would like to know whether a couple of nuns sitting on the beach would be told to get rid of that. Exactly. Would a couple of Orthodox Jews wearing zitzits or... and skull caps or whatever, would they be told well, not what, to do that? What do you think, James, about people who do choose to, well, for whatever reason, there are lots of religions in the world where, or if you're a Sikh, you wear a turban, that this is part of how you identify yourself with I your can't religion. I don't know. I'm not religious. I'm not a Christian, a Muslim. It doesn't mean that I don't have some kind of faith, that I don't believe in something. It just means that I don't believe in any of those religions. I don't understand why you would need to wear clothes to uh, show people what sort of religion you belong to. Some people feel the need to do it. The problem I have with it is that it makes it difficult for communities to join together. And I would like us all to live more peacefully can, together. Can I just jump in there? Because mm. I don't think it's necessary for each of us sitting here in this small community to feel the same, to think the same and dress the same in order to get along. So I don't believe in monoculturalism in that homogenous way. I think there is beauty in diversity. James, and you, it's an in interesting point you make because I think you know you're sort of saying things that lots of people think um, all over the world. But isn't this about your own acceptance and what, you, how you feel, how it makes you feel rather than the other person? I have always thought sometimes when people, particularly when uh, men want women to cover themselves completely apart from a slit for the eyes, yeah. uh, makes me very worried because. Uh, Mrs W is on show for people to meet and greet and say hello to, um, but uh, my neighbour next door, his wife isn't. It makes it very difficult. And I'm sure that you would agree that 
the future for the world is that we all get on and we all accept people for what they are. Now, I mean, I might touch you. Is that offensive? It, I'd rather you did it. Okay. Um, but <laughs> that that's also... because you're James Well. No, I'm joking. No, I know, We're friends. I know. We're friends. <laughs> Listen, before you got all this, you used to come on my radio show I did, regularly. Yeah. You know. And we've always had, we've always had a yeah. ding dong. But I wonder right now, let's just ask James. James, are you bothered, actually annoyed by what I'm wearing? No, I'm not annoyed at all. Right. I'm fascinated to know why yeah. you feel you need to wear it and why a god wants somebody to dress like this. No, I'm not offended at all. So but I do. Hang yeah. on. It's... I do do get concerned about the fact that we're not integrating and that some people want to dress in certain ways. But is that and... about integration? Is Laura, Just because Lauren is dressed in a modest way as a Muslim woman, does that make her not integrated? Well, I don't know. I would imagine Lauren integrates with Are you integrated, Lauren? I, I feel integrated. My kids go to school and I have a yeah. job and just, I take part in life. Fact, a lot of people are saying, you know, the law is the law of that country. If this yeah. is France's law, it's not actually law, I believe, right across France. There are only particular regions. Can, can we just be clear about this? This is something that, that's come from Nice. It's spread to 12 or 15 other towns along the coast. It's happened instantaneously. So what you've got is you've got tourists from around the world who love to go to the southern coast of France, going onto beaches and suddenly finding themselves ushered off. Now, it's it's quite difficult, actually. We saw we saw the lady earlier in the, in the um, modest swimwear. You're already different. To then be humiliated and be clapped off a beach for being Muslim, I don't believe that's somewhere we want to be going. Absolutely not. For more of the same, just click here. It's completely ridiculous to say that you'd prefer to hire mothers. Why, why would you say that? I mean, the, the skills that you need for raising children are not at all the same skills that you need for running oh, a company. I, to I totally disagree. In, in what way does changing nappies translate to running a boardroom exactly? 